I, uh, I wasn't sure if you would all be here on Saturday morning for the 7.30 yoga class, so I wore my Halloween uh, t-shirt for you all to enjoy tonight. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Great. So, um, uh, somebody mentioned that they'd been to a cardio class and they were feeling sore, so we're going to focus on stretching things out and feeling good, and you just work with the body you have, and uh, let's see how we get along. Okay, so we'll start out just laying back onto your mat here. Oof. Now, if you were just in body bar, this is going to feel particularly good. So just kind of stretch out, turn your palms to face the ceiling. Just kind of add a little bit of movement to your head so you feel that spot on the back of your head that's supported by the mat. Okay, and then press down with your head lift your heart a little bit and just tuck your shoulder blades a little bit so that your chest presses that flat uh, the flat plate of your shoulder blade into the mat Oof. take a big breath in and just let it go just check in with your shoulders there then coming down the arms maybe noticing the elbows or the forearms on the mat, maybe something on the back of your hand on the mat, fingers curling in slightly, taking a breath in, and a big breath out. Ooh. And coming down your back, just notice how your lower back is kind of floating above the mat maybe, and then come down, check in with your butt butt cheeks there and give your bum a little squeeze like you got a $50 bill squeezed in there and then just drop oh perfect try that one more time squeezing through the glutes pelvis lifts and then let it fall Oof. perfect that gives us a little bit of awareness there in the pelvis an opportunity to change its tilt then taking a big breath in down the legs, check in with that little space right behind your knees, maybe it's hovering above the mat, then check in with your calf muscles, and then that little spot behind your ankles, just floating above the mat, maybe then your heels, and then just give your toes a little wiggle. Oof. Nice. All right, to get things started, let's bring our heels in close to our bum. When you get there, just notice how the mat feels beneath your feet. Bring your big toes to touch. Flipping palms over, palms are facing down. All right, take a big breath here. Exhale, let go of any expectation. We're just gonna see how it goes. Taking a big breath in. go of judgment about what is or isn't possible. Big breath in, fill up your chest. And exhale, let go of competition. Means your pose just looks like the way your body looks today. It doesn't have to look like anybody else's. All right? So, Pressing down with the palms, pressing down with the shoulders. Inhale, lift your hips off of the mat, meeting in bridge. Exhale, hold your bum up high. And just check, see if the chin is starting to pull towards your collarbone. See if you can make that space a little longer so the back of your head is supported on the mat. Maybe you start to feel a little bit of work happening in the front of your legs there, the quads. So you can push your knees towards the front of the room. Oof. Here it comes. Take a big breath in. Start to lower that spot between the shoulder blades and then come down. 
one rib at a time until you get to the bottom. Notice what happened to your lower back. Take a deep breath in. As we inhale, lift your hips up, exhale, hold position, inhale, and start to lift your heels, roll onto the balls of your feet, nice, so now we're adding a little bit of awareness into the calf muscles, the gastrocnemius, you got the quads going, check to see if you're your knees are flopping to the outside. See if you can bring them more towards the midline. One more big breath in. Start with the shoulder blades, start to lower. Go down one vertebrae at a time. And then into the lower back. And then your bum. And then slowly lower. any change through the hips and the lower back. Yeah, that's great. Take a deep breath in and breathe out for six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let your knees start to fall to the right. So it's a little bit of a windshield wiper action. Oof. through middle. So again, heading to the left without any expectation, just notice without judgment. You might notice a little bit of muscular resistance there. It's okay. Back to the middle. And when you hit that sweet spot in the middle, just exhale and pause. Oof. It's always okay to slow things down. Okay, let's shift it up. Ready? Inhale, lifting. Exhale, press down with the right foot. Kick the left foot out. So maybe knees are together, left toes pulling towards left knee, or depending on your hips, there might be a space to raise your heel towards the ceiling. And in that case, you're gonna feel it a bit more in your hamstrings. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pick up your right heel. What? Come on. Back of your head, supported on the mat. Shoulders pressing into the mat. You can do this. Breathe through it. Exhale, start to lower the shoulders. The ribs. The lower back. The right heel. And then press out with the left heel. Slowly start to lower. Five, four, three, two, one. And then drop it on the mat. Ah. Oh. Take a big breath in. And big breath out. inhale let's bring that left heel in close to the bum and remember you do what works for your body if you just want to stay right in this position and breathe that's great okay another option is to take a deep breath in exhale bridge Oof. maybe this is where you want to hang out that's okay too. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, kick out your right foot. So maybe knees are together, right toes pulling towards right knee, 
we can access the hamstring there. If there's space in your hip to kick that heel towards the ceiling, that's great too. And then maybe take a big breath in. Exhale, pick the left heel up off the floor, kicking that right heel out or up. Come on, the shaking is okay. That's when the pose starts. Breathe in. Ah. You can do this. One more breath. Exhale, start to lower the back. You know how to do this. Heel. Leg for five, four, three, two, one. You're close to the floor and then just let it drop. coming close to your butt. Exhale, knees fall right. Oof. Inhaling through center. Exhale, knees falling left. Inhale back through middle. That's a nice lower body warm up. We we hit the uh, the calves, the quads, the hamstring. Got into the hip flexors there a bit. Added in some lower back. Let's reach the right arm out to the side, rolling to the right, and let's meet on our hands and knees, facing the front of the room. Okay, so take a second, spread your fingers nice and wide. If you texting or checking out porn sites, you want to make sure you plant that hand firmly into your mouth. <laughs> we know why you laughed, okay? <laughs> Go on, press your hands into the mat, tuck your toes. We have more nerve endings in our palms and our toes than uh, anywhere else, so really connect with your mat. Get the shoulders away from the ears. Ready? You can do this. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pick your knees up off the floor. Okay, so this is a hover. Your knees are about four to six inches off the floor. Okay, and you're gonna start to feel it. You might start to feel it in your brain when doubt or curse words. Come on, just breathe in. Exhale, lower your knees. Slide all the way back, untuck the toes. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so when we do our bridge on our back, we're lengthening across the abs. And when we do a hover, we're uh, kind of contracting. It's an isometric hold. So um, when your ab muscles are weak, we feel it in the lower back. So What's going on in your lower back right now? Breathing in. Exhale, drop your heart a little bit lower. <sighs> All right, let's try it again. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, hover. Okay, so our palms are spread out nice and wide. See if you can press down extra hard with your left foot. See if you can kick out with your right foot. Okay, this is a three-point hover. Oh, it burns. Oh, come on, breathe in. Exhale, lower the left knee. Press down with the right hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left hand reaches forward. 
spinal balance. Take a deep breath in. Exhale mat. Oof. Pause for a breath. Exhale child's pose. Oof. Feel all the feels. How does it feel through the palm, through the shoulder, in the back? Any of those thoughts about the feelings? Just set those aside. Big breath in. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, hover. right foot. Pull your belly button up towards your spine. Kind of contract through your pelvic floor muscles. Those are the ones that, um, you know, if you're trying to not pee your pants, kind of squeeze those. There we go. Ready? And then kick the left foot back. Three point hover. Drop that right knee a little bit lower. It's not a um, three legged dog. It's a three point hover. Perfect. Ready? Drop the right knee. Reach forward with the right hand. <sighs> Spinal balance. Or bird dog. <sighs> One more breath. Exhale, neutral. <sighs> Pause for a breath. Exhale, child's pose. <sighs> doing great. Okay, let's uh, link it all together a little bit and add on. So inhale, come on up, kneeling plank, remembering to bring your hips past your knees and that's how we get the weight onto our arms. Okay, take a breath in, exhale, down we go. Then the bottom. Oh, perfect. Okay, baby cobra. And back down. Oof. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, neutral. Hover. Okay, you're doing great. There's always an option to have both knees on the floor if that works better for you. Shift the weight to the left foot, kick back with the right foot, three point plank. Okay, spread the fingers in the right hand. Squeeze everything together. Come on, breathe in. Come up onto the fingertips on your left hand. Ready? Reach out for the candy bowl. Five, four, three, Two, gently make your way down. Child's pose. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Perfect. So we're creating length and strength. You got this. Ready? Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, down to the mat. Five little ghosts, four little witches. Three little vampires, two little werewolves, one Olaf down. Oh. <laughs> Baby Cobra. Matt. Oof. Neutral. Child's pose. Neutral. Remember, you can stay here and do bird dog if that works better for you. Hover. Shift the weight into the right foot. This side could be totally different. 
left foot kicking back. Spread the fingers on the left hand. Come up onto your right fingertips. Okay. Activate through that core. Ready? Reach forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently come all the way down. Meet me in child's pose. Oh. Lengthening and strengthening. <sighs> You're doing great. All right. We've already investigated some movement there through the hips. Let's check in with that. Okay, we're going to go through the series at your pace, follow your breath. You don't have to keep up with the person next to you. Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale to the mat. Ooh. Baby cobra. Back to the mat. Ooh. Neutral. Hover. Okay, just pause here for a second. Now, notice the weight on your hands. Notice the weight on your heels. We want it to be equal, equidistant. See if you can push down harder with your right hand. And then come back to the middle. Then press down harder with the left hand. And come back to the middle. Press down equally with your feet. Press down with the hands. Get your bum up in the air. Downward facing dog. So down dog, your ears are between your biceps. You have a little bit of softness in your knees. Your bum comes up in the air. Nice. Inhale, come all the way forward to a plank. Great. Now, there's the option to drop your knees if that feels better for you. Or from plank, come on, take a deep breath in. Down we go. Five, four, three, two, strong arms, one, mat. Baby cobra or bringing big toes together. Press the tops of your feet into the floor, squeeze the butt cheeks together, and come on up, upward facing dog. Let's go back to the mat. Knees on the mat, neutral. And all the way back, here it is, child's pose. So you can feel, you've got lots of upper body work, lots of lower body work. Circulation is going great. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Ooh. in neutral. Hover. Down dog. Right foot lifting. That's three-legged dog. Now take a look at your right hand. See the uh, blue carpet on the outside? Bring a bend to your right knee. Flex the right ankle. Bring your right knee towards your right elbow and then step off your mat. So your right foot on the outside of your right arm. So your right shoulder is inside the right knee. This is called lizard. Okay, you can stay here. Drop the pelvis. Okay, here's another option. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop the left knee. What's going on in the hips? Exhale, see if the left elbow will come to the mat. Ooh. Letting go of confidence.
repetition, both hands on the floor is just as good. Or maybe bring your right elbow to the floor. <sighs> you discover lots of stuff going on through the hips there. Without judgment. It is what it is. <sighs> head straight back to child's pose, doesn't matter. Oof. Whenever you get to child's pose, we'll all just catch up. Ah. So keeping that breath deep and steady, giving the hips a chance to kind of recalibrate, Pelvis kind of gets to enjoy the benefit of what we moved. Whenever you're ready, come on up to neutral. Hover. Down dog. Left foot lifting. The side could be totally different, so just see what happens. Bending the left knee, flexing left ankle. Take a look at your left hand. Left knee coming towards left elbow, stepping off of your mat. Yeah, there you go. And then drop the hips. <sighs> see if you can lift the back of your head, uh, taking care of the back of your neck there. Yeah, oh my gosh, you all look so good. Um, we want to have that left knee above the left ankle if we need to kind of tap it forward or crawl the toes forward we can Oof. oh yeah so good okay if you've been doing lots of lunges or squats or jogging just notice and take a deep breath in maybe start to lower the right Maybe I'll tuck the right toes. This is a great option. You can stay right here. Where are you holding tightness? Is there anything in the shoulders or the back? That feels like it's too much. The hands can be on the mat. Giving your body the opportunity to uh, settle in. back towards the mat. Ready? Let's shift that left knee back to the right. Oh, gee, take the knees nice and wide. Big toes touch. And then leading with your tailbone. This is where everything balances out. Oof.
hips are feeling good. What's happened in the lower back there, if there's any change? Are we ready for some standing? Let's come on up to neutral. Down back. Let's lift our right foot high. There's three-legged dog. Now, this time we're going to step between our hands. So right foot comes forward and through. This puts us into our lunge. The thing about lunge is you want to have your right foot kind of towards the right side of your mat and your left foot towards that back left side, kind of hip width apart. If they're in a straight line, you're going to tip over. All right, come on up onto your fingertips. A couple of options, you can sweep your arms to the ceiling or bring your right hand to your right knee and slowly start to come up. Ah, perfect, okay. Lunge into that front knee, push it forward, pull the left hip forward. Great, yeah, you look great, perfect. Are we ready? Take a deep breath in. Right hand reaches forward, left heel drops to the right, and meet me in a warrior two. Good, so your toes are pointing forward, yeah? You're gazing uh, at my awesome jack-o'-lantern shirt at the front. There we go. Bring your knee forward. Yeah, there it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You look great. And everybody looks so good over there. Perfect. Okay. Now, just kind of imagine your right hand is getting pulled forward. And then turn your palm up. Like you're trying to get that Halloween treat, but not get any closer than six feet away. Yeah, yeah, you know. Go on. Ready? Now, sweep your left hand to your right hip and sweep your right hand up high. Oof. Yeah, radiant warrior. Take a look up. Ah. Big breath in. Warrior two. Okay, bring a bend to that front arm. Bring your front arm to your front knee. Left arm comes up, high, side, angle. If you've been here before and full side angle is an option for you, go ahead. You got this. One more breath. Let's go all the way. Radiant warrior. breath. Exhale, let's windmill the arms down, lifting left heel. There's our lunge. Oof. Pause for a breath. Sweep the right arm out to the side. There's a twist. Oh, feeling so invigorated. One more breath. Exhale, lunge. Ready? Right foot steps back, plank. Down dog. Oof. So down dog can be a resting position. You can notice the change in your legs, your shoulders. And it's also a transitional pose. It means we come here to go somewhere else. So pressing down with the right foot, left foot lifting. This time left foot between the palms. There's our lunge. To your fingertips and again check the foot position left foot is towards the left side of your mat we're high on the ball of the right foot that's your metatarsal and then we're just letting the hips drop okay. option to sweep your arms towards the ceiling or maybe bring left hand to left knee and gently make your way up towards standing and then reaching high. It's okay, we're, we're learning balance. This floor is challenging. Okay, so this is a high lifted lunge. Are you set? Take a deep breath in. Left hand reaches forward. Right foot goes left. Right hand comes back. And just kind of play.
play with this pose. See if you can line your shoulders up with your hips. Okay. Then flip the left palm up and then just lean forward. There we go. Can I have a bag of chips, please? Okay, there you go. Perfect. Come on back through Warrior Two. Head towards Radiant Warrior. Oh. Take a look towards the ceiling. Relax any tension through the jaw. Notice the connection, the neck muscles with the jaw and the clavicle. Nice, big breath in. Exhale, slowly, let's windmill our hands forward, picking up the right heel, there's our lunge. Remember, there's always that option to drop the right knee if that works for you. Take a breath in. Exhale, sweeping left arm out to the side. Oof. Come on, push the left knee forward. You got it. One more breath. Exhale, down we go. Step back to plank. Okay, now remember you can drop your knees, do a half sun salutation. Drop your knees, go to child's pose, we'll all meet up there. All right? If you're in plank, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's go down. Six, five, four, three, that's halfway. Two, one, mat. Upward facing dog or baby cobra, whichever works for you. Back to the mat. Neutral. And then we all head back. Maybe wide leg child's pose. Ooh. to a kneeling plank. Let's head down towards the mat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the left ear towards the mat. Bring your hands back beside your hips. Oh. This is a chance to check in with all of the contact points on the front of your body. So maybe notice the top of your toes, the tops of your feet, maybe your shins, maybe your knees, maybe those quads that we felt in um, bridge earlier on, your pelvis, your belly, the ribs, your upper chest, maybe your shoulders. Sweep the left arm out to the side and around the front and just line up your, uh, your forearm with the front edge of your mat. Okay, then, uh, so that's supporting us. We're going for half bow. So bringing a bend to your right knee, flex your right ankle. Okay, then sweep your right arm out to the side Sweep the right arm back, grab your right ankle. You gotta flex that ankle. Ready? Press down with your left arm, push back with your right toes, and just lift up. Oof. So we're actually
actually stretching through the abdominals if you were doing lots of sit-ups. We're creating a, some traction on your right shoulder and we're creating a nice stretch on the right quad. And meanwhile, we're adding a little bit of bonus there with a back bend. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly start to release that ankle. Sweep your hands back beside your hips. Bring the right ear to the mat. <sighs> See if the breath has become shallow. Is it kind of at the top of your chest? Take a big breath in, feel your belly press against the mat, and then exhale, just melt towards the mat. Ooh. today. Inhale, bring your gaze back towards the middle. Sweep the right arm around to the front of your mat so the right forearm is parallel to that short front edge of your mat. Then sweeping left arm out to the side. We reach out to the side to create space in the rotator cuff so that we can grab onto that ankle. Bring a bend to the left ankle. Flex, or sorry, left knee. Flex the left ankle. With expectation of the pose, we sometimes let the left knee flare out to the left side. Imagine you're squeezing a beach mat between your legs and then reach back, grab the ankle, and then press down with the right forearm, push back with the left toes, and feel your chest lift to give you that stretch in the um, abdominals. <sighs> Come on, breathe through it. Uh, feel the back muscles contracting to lift your torso. There you go, feel the left shoulder retracting. <sighs> One more breath. Exhale slowly with control, start to soften. Sweep your hands back beside your hips, left ear to the mat. Ah. Slowly gaze comes back to the middle. Palms come beneath your shoulders, palms are on the mat. So those are both back bends. Uh, then we have to reset the spine. So go slowly. Focus on your tailbone, down there in between your butt cheeks. Slowly start to come up. And then lead with the tailbone. Come back. 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 Come on. So much length along the vertebrae. Ooh. Inhale, let's come up to neutral. Sweep your left hip under. Come towards a seated position facing forward. Make sure your bum is in the middle of the mat because we're going to lay back. Big toes touching, grab your knees. Remember, if you need a drink or anything, Kit Kat, go ahead. Ready? There aren't any of those laying around here. I already checked. Come on, <laughs> come on down. Oh, that mat feels so good on the back. Finding length along the neck. Just find a smile on your face. Just let 
that everything's soft. Let's let the left foot drop towards the mat. Bring the right ankle over the left knee. So that's figure four pose. You're welcome to stay right here. Another option that allows us to access the glute is to reach your right hand between your legs, pull your left knee towards your chest, Oh, sorry, it uh, allows us to access the right glute. Oof. Wherever you're feeling it, it's the right place. Okay, push your right elbow into your right inner thigh. <laughs> Go on. Hold your right. Come on, see if you can pull that left knee in just the tiniest bit. Closer. Oof. One more breath. And then exhale, slowly start to lower. Oof. Using your hands, bring that right foot off. Drop your hands beside your hips. Check in the other side, right sole of your foot, the sole of your right foot is on the mat. Slowly start to bring the left knee towards your chest, left ankle coming over right knee. And this could be enough right here. You, you start to feel it in the left hip. Maybe focus on moving the outside of that left knee away from you in charge. You can dial it up or dial it down. Oof. Remember, you're welcome to stay here. Another option is to bring your left hand between your legs and then starting to pull the right knee towards your chest, maybe interlacing a strap or your hands behind the right leg as you pull the right knee towards your chest. Back of your head and shoulders still resting on the mat. The goal isn't to get them closer by lifting off of the mat. The goal is to get them closer by pulling in. extra slow. Notice what changes as the right knee starts to move away from the chest. Slowly the right foot comes to the floor. This time when we untangle the left leg, reach it out long and strong. Five, four, three, two, get to the bottom, just let it drop. Oh. Nothing to do. Just breathe. Breathe in. <coughs> and breathing out. Oh. Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in. Slowly start to extend the right leg out. Five, four, three, start to lower, two, one, and just drop. <sighs> Turning palms towards the ceiling. Maybe tuck those shoulders a little bit.
right bicep is a little pillow as you roll to the right and pause. top. Palms come together, hands lower to heart center. Oof. Take a big, big breath in. Side out. Oh. We'll finish here with Namaste. Thank you all for coming. There are spray bottles throughout the room and paper towels if you want to uh, wipe your mat. There's hand sanitizer by the door. Thank you all for being here.